Hi folks, Ken Ring of www.predictweather.com It's the 18th of October. Uh, a lot has happened since we last did a blog, uh, and especially down in Christchurch in uh, New Zealand. Here. And they're still getting some aftershocks down there, which are pretty scary. Uh, but the main times to watch for are the particular positions of the moon, and that's the full moon and the new moon, uh, which are times of king tides in the air, and also the sea and also the land, which means more movement in all of these, everything getting stretched by the moon's gravitational pull. Uh, plus, the times to watch are the perigee, which is when the moon comes closer, as it does every 27 and a half days, closer to the Earth, or what we call the apogee, which is 13 or 14 days after perigee, and which is when the moon is furthest away from Earth. People are often confused by that. Why should the moon be powerful from its furthest point away? Uh, for instance, in September, the apogee was on the 21st, and the night before, there was a 5.6 magnitude shake in Tokoroa, uh, which is in the North Island of New Zealand. So Now, the news is just in that a 4.4 magnitude shake has happened in Christchurch this morning, and two big earthquakes have occurred in Tonga, a 5.8 and a 5.9 at a depth of 9 kilometres down, and the apogee is tomorrow. So, what is it with the apogee? Well, if you can imagine two pirouetting dancers facing each other, ballet dancers holding hands uh, together, outstretched like that, that's the moon and the earth. And they're going around each other. Now, their average position at any time between the earth and the moon is called the barycenter. And if the moon is in, perig in perigee, there's more pull from the earth. The barycenter is closer to the centre of the earth. Uh, which activates shakes deeper down below the ground. You get powerful shakes then. But when the moon is in apogee, then the moon is further away, so the barycenter is closer to the surface of the Earth. And so you get shakes that are just below the surface. Either way, perigee and apogee are pretty powerful um, earthquake times, especially if there's a full moon as well. Now, weather-wise for the North Island, it's likely to be clear weather mid, uh, till about midweek. For the South Island, the rain uh, is coming to the South Island West Coast all week, I think, and um, at the top and Canterbury around just around the beginning of the week and then clearing after a couple of days. Now, for Labor Weekend, because that's coming up, I think a front is moving onto New Zealand, bringing some daytime rain. So it's going to be pretty changeable. I think more rain will affect the bottom half of the North Island and the top of the South Island and Canterbury, uh, more there than elsewhere. And most rain may be around the beginning of the long weekend to start to clear up at the end. Saturday, don't forget, that'll be full moon, so the evening should be clear, as it mostly is on full moon days. And on Sunday and Monday, I think the rain eases for the top of the South Island and for inland Otago but elsewhere may still be a bit changeable. And I think Sunday should clear on the South Island West Coast, and the whole South Island should be largely clear on the Monday. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you tomorrow.